For this is the mystery of Haliki. Even though no one doubts that it exists, just like Atlantis, Heliki has always eluded those who have searched for it. One of the most famous people to look for Heliki was the great technological genius, Professor Harold Edgerton. Edgerton's inventions transformed the way we see the world. He was one of the first to film things in slow motion. One of the first to use strobe lights in photography. And one of the first to use sonar to take pictures of the sea floor. We always do this test before we go out to sea. So it's interpretation of these uh, marks, uh, when you put it in the sea, to tell you where the shipwrecks are and rocks, mud, sand, and other things. Edgerton was convinced that with his technology for seeing underwater, finding Heliki would be simple. For the ancient texts told you exactly where to look. The texts say the lost city lay seven kilometers from Egeon to the east. The town of Egeon still exists today. It lies 150 kilometers west of Athens on the coast of the Corinthian Gulf. Seven kilometers east of Egeon brings you to the sea. And this is where Edgerton set out to look. Paul Cronfield was part of the team. It was the ultimate adventure for a young man that's just fresh out of college. Uh, thrust out into uh, a new world of science. A lot of the people there were thinking of some of the treasures of Leaky because they certainly are there. There's, there's certainly a lot of gold, a lot of very valuable things. They thought the key to finding this treasure would be Edgerton's sonar imaging equipment, his sonar fish. It works by sending out pulses of high-frequency sound, which bounce off the seabed. The returning echo is picked up by the fish. And by comparing the time delay between pulse and echo, it can build a picture of the sea floor. Edgerton spent nine years combing the Corinthian Sea. And just east of Egeon, exactly as the ancient text predicted, the fish found something intriguing. As we surveyed there, offshore approximately in water depths 140 feet, that's where we found the pockmarks. We found holes. Some of them were configured in straight lines that extended half a kilometer or so. This is unusual. This caused a great deal of excitement on the survey boat. One could imagine this could be the remnants of the city. This could be a street. This could be a foundation. Edgerton thought he'd found it. The city whose fate had inspired Atlantis. <laughs> 